Welcome to Namcoville. Namco Museum Volume 5 is, duh, a collection of five classic older-than-dirt Namco games from the 70s and 80s. It even comes with a special CD that includes 70s and 80s songs, exhibitions of 70s and 80s clothes, and 70s and 80s pixel dust. There we go again, lies, all lies. There is no CD, folks, but the game does include a kinky, I mean, kind of cool gallery, which is fun to explore for a few minutes. You can check out the elevator if you're too much of a lazy bum to climb the stairs. I can relate. I'm so lazy that to avoid walking, I have a special car seat that detaches and rolls into the studio, planting me in front of the desk in our pathetic set. After taping, a trap door opens up and I'm thrust into the depths of the basement of this old, disgusting, roach-infested building. Just kidding. Anyway, let's move on. You can also peruse the Opera House and see slideshows of the frame rates from decades past. Plus, hear the old sound effects. The Ghost House is also worth a visit as you can scare those buttheads out of the window until you're blue in the face. Like the biscuit, I feel like taking a moment, so bear with me for a sec. Okay, thank you. If you don't get it, too bad. Watch more TV. Three games included in this Namco game are Metro Cross, which gets straight E's no matter how you rate it, Dragon Spirit, E's again, and Bard Duke, E's, E's, E's. Together, these three games are worth half a bucket of spit or any other bodily fluid. The only two games worth a hill of beans are Legend of Valkyrie and Pac-Mania. The former is the first game to feature the famed female Icelandic warriors. Heck, it's probably the only game. These girls are no Xenas either. This game has neat graphics for its time. Look at this effect for climbing a mountain. Cool, huh? If you want to see the earliest Zelda-ish game, this is what you need. Pac-Mania is the best of the bunch. 3D Pac-Man, on Lego Land, or excuse me, the land formerly known as Lego. Hey, remember our Lego website story? Here's a peek at that. We are, of course, kidding once again. The whole collection gets ease, except for a D in challenge. These ratings are by today's standards, so what do you expect? 